Hey guys, uh, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to get the glitch effect um, that uh, was explained in the seamless transitions. Um, since you really only have uh, control over which transitions we video has to use, um, you have to make it work with those. And I found that the best thing uh, for it is really the fisheye transition. Um, so what I've done is I've got a clip here of my wife sitting, uh, finishing up watching TV for the day, and she yawns and then turns the TV off, right? So there she is, she yawns, and then she reaches for the remote and then turns the TV off. So at that point in time, I want it to seem like we're the TV and we glitch to off. Um, so the important thing is to make sure you're cutting it at the right point in time. So there needs to be a little bit of room after it for, for the transition to happen. So I'm going to put it right after she lifts her thumb off the remote. So I'm going to trim the video there. All right. So it's going to glitch to this other video of the living room without her there. So it's like she's gone after the glitch. So the transition that I found that worked the best is the fisheye transition. So I'm going to go to the transitions. I'm going to go down to fisheye and I'm going to drag it on top of here. And I like the fisheye one because it has some of that discoloration, that, that blue, red, green uh, RGB channel distortion that they had in the glitch transition. Um, in Adobe Premiere, it has a little bit of that uh, distortion. So um, if I watch this again, eh, it went a little bit too soon. So the hard part about working with that is that I don't know exactly where to end the video. So I'm gonna end this a little bit later and see if that fisheye works better here. So you have to play with it a little bit to see. Okay. I kind of like that better. I might work the timing a little bit more on that. I want to make sure it happens right when she pushes the button. Yep, that, that's pretty good. So that's not too bad. It does look like a little bit of a glitch, but if I want to add an, another effect to it, what I can do is I can actually click and drag to select these. I'm going to copy those. I'm going to move the playhead off here and paste it. Now, I don't want to leave it there. I actually want to layer these over each other. So I've got this transition here. How did I not get my... There we go. Okay, so we want to make sure we include everything that was there before. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the transition type to crosshatch. And if you look at crosshatch, it looks like she's being distorted out. The thing I didn't like about the crosshatch by itself is that it didn't have the discoloration that the, um, that the fisheye had. And since the crosshatch is actually covering up the fish high, I can't see it. So the next thing that I did was I actually went in here and controlled my opacity. And I put the opacity at about 60%. So I'm dragging these opacity sliders down to about 60%. And I did it on both of them. So you got to pull it up. Come on. There we go. 60% roughly, and that should now allow me to see both the crosshatch and the fisheye at the same time, and it adds a little bit of grittiness to the, well, I just messed that up. I'm going to cancel that. There we go. Um, it adds a little bit of the grittiness to the, to the fisheye effect with the crosshatch. So I like the combination of those two together. It's not completely unnecessary. It does get a little bit dark as it transitions, so that part's a little bit tough. 
but I like the combination of the two together. If you don't, it's not a big deal. You can do it any way you want. Um, get rid of the, oops, sorry. Get rid of the crosshatch transition, only use the fisheye. If you like the crosshatch transition better, use the crosshatch transition, but those two transitions, for me, look the closest to the glitch transition that we were trying to copy from Adobe Premiere. Hope that helps you guys. Let me know if you need anything else.